Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to show you the ever-expanding line of Zern Wilkins automatic control valves. I'd like to start with the flagship of the automatic control valve line, and that is the ZW209. The 209 pressure reducing valve is designed to hold downstream pressure relatively constant, regardless of inlet pressure fluctuations or flow rate. Now, based upon this valve, we do have a number of offshoots. We have, for example, the ZW209Q. That valve is a pressure reducing valve, but it also has downstream surge protection. In the event the downstream equipment shuts off rapidly, we could have a very strong rise in pressure downstream. The ZW209Q will sense that rapidly and close the valve off to prevent that downstream potential surge. We also have the ZW209H. That valve is a pressure reducing, pressure sustaining valve. Again, it's going to reduce downstream pressure, but it will also maintain an upstream pressure. For example, if the upstream pressure starts to fall below the preset limit, the valve will begin to close itself off. Thus, it's holding back inlet pressure and also giving us that pressure reducing function. We also have the ZW209E. That is a solenoid valve. It's going to be a pressure reducing valve, but it gives us the opportunity to open or close the valve electrically. Also, we'll have the 209BP. That valve is equipped with a low flow bypass. It's great for industrial applications, say, where we're flowing a, a high amount of water all day long, but at night we have a janitor coming in to service the building and he's going to have a very low flow. So that kind of covers the pressure reducing options. But moving on down the line, we have the ZW218. That's a slow close check valve. It has opening and closing speed controls on it so that we can con control how quickly it opens or closes. Next, we have the ZW207. This valve is an automatic shutdown valve in the event that we go high pressure downstream. So for example, say in a pressure reducing application, our pressure reducing valve were to fail, it could cause damage, very serious damage to equipment downstream. The ZW207 will track that pressure very rapidly and close itself off so that we don't go over pressure downstream causing damage to very sensitive equipment. The next valve that we have is the ZW206. This valve is a solenoid valve. In other words, we can open or close this valve electrically. There are many applications in industry where we don't want to send a human being into a confined uh, space, for example, to open and close a valve. So therefore, we can do that electrically. The valve is equipped with a solenoid and we have a number of voltages and cycles available. Next valve we have is the ZW205. This valve serves as a relief valve or also as a pressure sustaining valve. When we mount it in a branch line, for example, on the T of a main line, it will serve as a relief valve. Therefore, if we go over pressure in the line, the valve, this relief valve will open up and dump that excess pressure to atmosphere, about to pump, pump suction, or maybe even to a tank. When it's mounted in line, it serves as a sustaining valve. In that application, it's always holding back inlet pressure. As long as the inlet pressure, again, is above the, the uh, set point of the valve that we've set it to, the valve remains open and it allows flow to go downstream. But in the event that that inlet pressure starts to drop, this valve will begin to pinch itself back, even going all the way close, so that we always hold back a certain amount of inlet pressure. On down the line, we have our ZW204. This is a non-modulating float valve. Basically, it's a way of controlling the level of fluid in a tank. We can mount the float assembly itself in the tank and run umbilical lines to the main valve. Therefore, whenever the tank gets low, the pilot tells the main valve to open and we fill the tank. It will continue to remain open until the tank is fully, fully filled, and at that point in time, the valve will shut itself off. So again, it's a non-modulating valve. Now, these are primarily what we would consider our domestic plumbing, waterworks irrigation products. But in addition to these products, we do have a line of fire protection products. And I'll slide a couple of these valves out of the way so we can show you here. We'll start off with our ZW209FP. Now, this is a uh, pressure reducing valve intended for fire protection systems. It functions the same way as the standard ZW209, but it's trimmed for fire applications. In other words, no shutoff valves in the pilotry that can disarm the valve. It's UL listed. It's got much higher pressure pilot and uh, higher pressure larger UL listed pressure gauges. So again, ZW209FP. It's used for reducing pressure in fire protection systems. 
we also have our ZW205 FP. And like the domestic 205, this is a pressure relief valve. Typically, it's going to be used on the downstream side of a pump. And in the event that the fire protection system stops its flow rate, we could go over pressure. This valve will control that pressure and dump the excess pressure back to pump suction so that we're circulating. And again, we don't want to overpressure the downstream in, uh, in a fire protection application. So ZW209FP. Also on this list, we have the ZW215FP. This particular valve is a pump suction control valve. The valve is going to mount on the downstream side on the, in the pump discharge, but it's sensing the inlet pressure to the pump. Now, in the event that the fire pump starts pulling too much water, we could drop our inlet pressure down to where we could have cavitation that could damage the pump. And not only that, we're going to cause backflow conditions. This valve senses that pump suction pressure, and if that pressure becomes too low, it will throttle down the output of the pump, thus causing the suction pressure to rise again. So once more, ZW215FP, fire, uh, fire pump suction control valve. Now that currently rounds out the line of our ZW series automatic control valves, but stay tuned uh, with respect to watching our videos. We're always adding to this product line, so you're going to see valves continually come out in the Zern Wilkins line. Thank you for watching. For more information, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. Call our customer care center at 1-855-1-ZERN and visit us at zern.com.